Hello, today we're going to teach you how to make giant soap bubbles. It's a two-step process. First we're going to make our solution, then we're going to make our wand, then we're going to go have some fun. All right, let's talk about our supplies. So we're going to have one gallon of water, preferably lukewarm, and one cup of soap. I prefer soap that is dish soap that's clear of any dyes or fragrances. It tends to work better. A couple of the brands that I really like are Target's Up and Up and Dawn Clear and Fresh. Also Palm Olive does pretty good. So just going to pour in one cup of dish soap into one gallon of water. Mix it up well and then you want to let that sit for a little while. So the materials that we're going to need for our one. Two garden steaks cotton rope, and some weight to have at the bottom of the rope. I like to use some large washers. If you don't have large washers, you might be able to use some old keys or maybe a heavy weight. So the first step for making a rope is taking out the nylon core. Most cotton rope that you're going to get is going to have this nylon core in it, and you're going to want to pull back the outside, which is cotton, and take out the inside, which is nylon. You just pull it out like so and then you thread it all the way back to the other end. You keep on doing that process until you pull the entire core out. Once you do, you'll be left with just the cotton rope. Thankfully, I've already done that, and it's ready to go over here. So take your rope. Now, this is uh, about a seven foot length. I would say start with about a 10 foot length. You can go with either 10 or 20 feet, depending upon what you want to do. So let's say this is a 10 foot length. Divide it roughly into three parts, where your fingers are holding is where you're going to be tying onto the, the garden stick. Now my specific way of, of tying it on, you're going to make two loops, just like so. The second loop goes underneath the first loop, and that's going to slide right over the stick, and then you pull tight. Alright, so there's one side. Now I'll do the same thing to the other side. Two loops, one loop, two loop, second loop underneath the first, slide it onto the stick, and pull tight. All right, now we go on to the next step, tying the weights on. So I threaded my weights, which are just some large washers, with the two strings going through. And I'm just going to do a simple tie here, just like you're tying your shoes, just a half hitch. To make sure it doesn't come off, let's do it one more time. And then I like to try and get the, the ends of my rope to disappear so they're not popping the bubble. So maybe even thread back through the washer one more time. And then if you need to, cut off any extra. Now you might need to do some maintenance on your, on your knots after a few times of using it. All right. So the weights are there. That's going to help it lower into the bubble solution when we, when we need to. All right, I want to talk to you a little bit about the different um, configuration of the rope for your wand. Yeah. You can just do the triangle here, which is what we showed you earlier. Or if you come look over here, you see that I have additional netting on the inside of my larger triangle. When I use this, this is going to allow me to have one, two, three, four, five different bubbles that are created rather than just the simple triangle, which will be one bubble. One bubble is going to be very easy to pop. If you have five bubbles, it's going to be a lot harder for all those to pop. So you tend to get a little bit more out of this, but this is a little bit more complicated to make. In essence, what I do is I take the rope, maybe make it a 20-foot rope section, and then you thread up and around and back and around and make a design. If you want to find out more about this, you can check out our Circus Imagination YouTube page. I have a full tutorial on how to make this. You can make some bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> all right. We just got done making our wand. We made our solution. We found some random kids. Let's make some bubbles. Back up, Kai. So you can see how the weight helps drop it in. So that's why the weight's necessary. You want to drop your rope all the way down. Make sure it gets fully submerged and soaked. When you lift up your garden sticks, you're going to lift straight up above the bucket. Minimize your drip so you keep as much of that solution. Then you open them up nice and wide and walk backwards. Always try and keep your wand and rope off the ground. 
because you don't want to get any grass or dirt or debris inside your, your bubble solution. Once again, keeping the points together, lifting straight up, open up nice and wide, and walk backwards. Now today we don't have much of a wind, so that's why I'm walking. But if you find that you're, you're doing bubbles on a day that does have wind... Wow, super far! If you find that you do have wind, you want your wind pushing towards your back. So the wind would be going this direction. That way you just lift it up, open it up, and the wind will make the bubbles for you. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys had fun making the bubble solution and the wands. If you have any questions or comments, just head on over to the YouTube channel, Circus Imagination at YouTube, and leave it in the comments there. We'll get back to you. Uh, also, you can check on our YouTube channel for more tutorials on hula hoop, face painting, bubble making, and the advanced bubbles. All right, take care. We'll see you later.